8. The sun's angular diameter is measured to be 1920 seconds. The distance d of the sun from the earth is 1.496 into 10 raised to power 11 meter. What is the diameter of the sun? Theta is equal to arc divided by radius. Answer. Angular diameter theta is equal to 1920 seconds is equal to 1920 divided by 16 equal 32. We know that 1 minute is equal to 1 degree divided by 16 equal to 1 divided by 16 into pi divided by 180 radian. Therefore, theta is equal to 32 into pi the whole divided by 16 into 180 equal to 0 0.009 radian distance between sun and earth l is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to power 11 m linear diameter d is equal to l theta is equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to power 11 into 0 0.009 is equal to answer 1.4 into 10 raised to power 9 m 9. Give any two difference between speed and velocity. Answer. Speed. It is defined as the rate of change of distance. It is a scalar quantity. It can neither be negative or zero. Velocity. It is defined as the rate of change of displacement. It is a vector quantity. It can be negative, zero or positive. 10. Derive an expression for the maximum height reached by a projectile. Answer. Consider a particle projected with a velocity u at an angle theta with a horizontal. This velocity is resolved into the vertical component u sin theta and the horizontal component u cos theta. In order to find the maximum height reached by the projectile, consider the vertical motion of the projectile. Vertical initial velocity is equal to u sin theta. Vertical final velocity is equal to zero. Acceleration is equal to g. Displacement is equal to h. By equation of motion, v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Zero is equal to u square sin square theta minus 2gh. Therefore, 2gh is equal to u square sin square theta. So, the expression for maximum height reached by a projectile is h is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g. 11. Define momentum of an object. Give its unit. Answer. Momentum p is equal to mass into velocity and its unit is kilogram meter per second. 12. State Newton's law of inertia. What are the different types of inertia? Answer. Newton's first law of motion, also known as law of inertia. An object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion remains in motion at constant speed and in a straight line unless acted on by an unbalanced force. There are three types of inertia. Inertia of rest, inertia of motion, inertia of direction. 13. What is the force required to lift a school bag of 12 kg mass? Answer. F is equal to mass into acceleration is equal to m into g is equal to 12 into 10 is equal to 120 newton. 14. Consider the rotation of a second hand of a clock. All points of this second hand have a. Same angular velocity but different linear velocity b. Same linear velocity but different angular velocity c. Same angular and linear velocity d. Different angular and linear velocity Answer a. Same angular velocity but different linear velocity 15. What is principle of homogeneity of dimension? Check the correctness of the equation f is equal to mv divided by r using dimensions answer dimension of lhs is equal to dimension of rhs 
f is equal to m b whole divided by r put square bracket on both of the sides f is equal to m1 l1 t minus 2 and m v whole divided by r is equal to m1 into l1 t minus 1 whole divided by l is equal to m1 t minus 1 lhs and rhs are not same since the equation is dimensionally incorrect 16 can an object has zero velocity but still accelerating argue with an example answer yes at the topmost position of a body thrown vertically upward the velocity will be zero and the acceleration will be g 17 derive the following equations of uniformly accelerated motion a v square is equal to u square plus 2 as b s is equal to ut plus half et square answer a we know that average velocity is equal to v plus u divided by 2 is equal to s by t. v plus u is equal to 2s by t. Let us consider it as equation number 1. But we have v is equal to u plus a t. Can consider it as equation number 2. By rearranging equation number 2, we get equation number 3. By multiplying equation number 1 into equation number 3, we get v square is equal to u square plus 2as. Answer of b. Equation 2 in 1 implies u plus at plus u is equal to 2s divided by t. By rearranging this, we get s is equal to ut plus half at square. 18. A car travels from A to B at a speed of 20 m per second and return to A at a speed of 30 m per second. Calculate the average speed and average velocity of the car during the motion. Answer. Average speed is equal to 2v1 into v2 divided by v1 plus v2 is equal to 2 into 20 into 13 divided by 15. So the average speed is 24 meter per second. Average velocity is equal to displacement by time. So the average velocity is equal to zero. 20. A cricket ball is thrown at a speed of 28 meter per second in a direction of 30 degree above the horizontal. Calculate the maximum height and time taken by the ball to the same level. Answer. U is equal to 28 meter per second theta is equal to 30 degree h is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g is equal to 28 square into 0 0.5 square divided by 2 into 9.8 equal to 10 meter t is equal to 2u sin theta divided by g is equal to 2 into 28 into 0 0.5 divided by 9.8 so t is equal to 2.857 seconds 21 friction is a necessary evil why we say like this answer friction is said to be a necessary evil because it is useful as well as harmful friction help us to walk right hold things lift objects so it is a necessary for our leaves on the other hand it is also unnecessary at times it sometimes results in loss of energy wear and tear of parts of missionary due to which it also damage things so it is a essential evil